Welcome everyone. My name is Susan Smith and I'm the Director of Operations at the Fellowship of Reconciliation USA, which is a part of the International Fellowship of Reconciliation, which has branches, groups, and affiliates in over 40 countries. And in 1914, I4 was founded in response to the horrors of war in Europe and has taken a consistent stance against violence and war throughout history. And perceiving the need for healing and reconciliation in the world, the founders of I4 formulated a vision of the human community based upon the belief that love in action has the power to transform unjust political, social, and economic structures. So today, uh, for the Global Day of Action, October 30th, 2021, uh, which focuses on the climate catastrophe, we are sending a loud and clear message to the COP26 UN Climate Change Conference next week in Glasgow, Scotland. And that is that resource exploitation, violent conflict, and militarism are drivers of the climate catastrophe and must stop. And the purpose of this Global Day of Action is also to lift up initiatives undertaken by individuals and groups throughout the world that are rooted in nonviolence and confront war and militar militarism through compassion, accountability, and change. And today we are so grateful to have with us uh, Lucas Firla and uh, Kamaran uh, 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 Osman, of Christian Peacemaker Team's Iraqi Kurdistan program. And they will share some of the many ways CPT has been confronting and undoing systems and structures of racism and oppression and climate change in one of the most oil and gas rich regions of the world. Welcome Lucas and welcome Kamaran. Let's get started. And could you start by telling us a little bit about your work, uh, CPT in general, and in Iraqi Kurdistan in particular? Hello, my name is Lucas Firla. Uh, I have been with Christian Peacemaker Teams uh, for over 10 years now. Uh, Christian Peacemaker Teams is an organization that brings uh, people from various countries to work together for peace, uh, building partnerships with local peacemakers uh, to transform violence and oppression. Uh, we work in uh, on the Turtle Island uh, with, uh, with 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 to support indigenous struggle uh, against uh, uh, pipelines and 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 and, and land theft. Uh, we we support uh, and accompany farmers who are under threat of displacement in Colombia. Uh, we accompany children and monitor violence at the checkpoints set up by the Israeli military in Hebron, in Palestine. Uh, we work uh, for, for migrant justice uh, on, on Lesbos uh, in Greece. And we, in, in Iraqi Kurdistan, we work along, alongside civil society activists who are tortured and, in, and imprisoned and under threat uh, to their lives. And we accompany many communities that are at risk of, of displacement, that are targeted by Turkish military operations uh, and uh, we, we work to, towards, towards the end of those uh, cross-border attacks. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, before going into what's happening today, could you provide a brief history of the Kurdish people? Uh, and as uh, we know, there are millions and millions of Kurdish people, a stateless people in places like Iraq and uh, Syria, Iran, um, Armenia, uh, at Turkey. Uh, maybe, uh, Kamaran, if you could tell us a little bit about the history of your people. Uh, thanks for having us. I'm Kamaran from Iraqi Kurdistan. Uh, as Kurdish people, for thousands of years, we have been living in this area, which is called Mesopotamia uh, area. And uh, we are one of the largest uh, none, uh, one of the largest stateless uh, nation in the world. We are more than uh, for, uh, more than four thousand population in the world. We have been divided uh, in the world. We have been separated from each other. Uh, in uh, for the first time, Kurdish people have been divided uh, in uh, one thousand. 
500 uh, in in 1554 uh, we have been divided by Safavid uh, and also Ottoman Empire uh, and also we have our own language uh, we have uh, almost 19 dialects and accents that people uh, in uh, Iraqi Kurdistan in uh, Rojava in Syria in Turkey and in Iran we are speaking in these uh, languages we have been divided again uh, in, uh, in the last century, we have been divided again for four parties. We have never been uh, reconnected, reunited again uh, because of all the oppression and also the racism is happening around the world. Uh, I can easily say as we, we are Kurdish, we have our own language, we have, we have our own land, but because of the op oppression around the world, we could not have our own state and we have been used to fight against uh, each other and against other countries uh, and we have we are one of the uh, uh, nations that we have been oppressed a lot yes yes indeed um uh Kamaran, could you repeat uh, the total population and i i understand this is a rough estimate only god knows how many uh, kurdish people there are but the, the total number of kurdish people in the world and also, if then, uh, if you could go a little bit into the situation of oil and gas resource ex exploitation in Iraqi Kurdistan, uh, both during the U.S. occupation and and after. Uh, actually, we are we as you said, we don't have any accurate estimation, but but we are more than uh, forty thousand uh, people. Uh, around, uh, for, for, uh, I'm sorry, 40 million uh, people around the world. Uh, and also as Kurdish uh, people, uh, we, we have been living in that area and we are in Turkey. We have people in Turkey, in Iraq, in Syria and Iran. Uh, according to your last question about the oil and gas companies, uh, actually uh, there is, two different stories. Before 2003 and after 2003, before the U.S. invasion and after U.S. invasion, uh, actually U.S. invasion completely changed uh, the, the normal life in Iraqi Kurdistan, the normal life of the Kurdish, uh, Kurdish citizens in the north of Iraq. Uh, I can easily say uh, we were living in, in the mountains, living in the villages, uh, depending on the agriculture, planting, tending animals. But now after 2003, we, the, 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 the economical situation here uh, like uh, completely changed. Instead of uh, depending on our own agriculture, our own land, we, de we depend more on the, uh, on the oil. And a lot of, after the invasion, a lot of companies came here. They started to uh, investment about uh, about the, uh, the the oil uh, ec extracting the oil from our country and exporting for outside of Kurdistan and making people instead of planting instead of planting agriculture making them to be the employer in some of these companies uh, uh, leaving the the villages and uh, coming to the cities. And depending on the salary, depending on the salary, became the the, the fighters. And also, uh, they, they were. I, I can easily say that we were more depending on the oil, which is economically uh, oil. It's not stable to be depend on. A country cannot depend on the oil. And 44 blocks. They they found 44 blocks of the oil and uh, oil companies or oil blocks in Iraqi Kurdistan. Uh, I'm from the area which is called uh, Shaure. Uh, in uh, that area, the Exxon Mobil, they started to invest uh, oil in 2013. Uh, and they had some exploration in that area. They found some oil there, but it was a resistance against that. that uh, they, they say people could stop uh, then, uh, this investment. I can say that uh, it, U.S. invasion brought a lot of companies, foreign companies to here to change the life of the people instead of depending uh, their own way to earning money 
uh, uh, their own income, they started to depend on the uh, oil. Yeah. Mm. And I, maybe I would add to that what Cameron is saying that uh, the, the, one of the conditions of the of the departure of the U.S. forces from Iraq, right, was was uh, that Iraq is has to privatize the oil fields that during Saddam were 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 during were, were national. The Iraqi, the newly formed Iraqi government after the U.S. invasion, never affirmed that. So the oil state to be national belong to, to, to the government and then the oil companies in Iraq were paid for extracting the oil but the oil belonged to the Iraqi government. However in Kurdistan the situation was very different and before the US invasion there was almost no, no very very little oil exploration in all of Kurdistan and, and, and the map that, that Susan just showed us and what Cameron mentioned about the blocks in 2007 Kurdistan was divided into those uh, many blocks, and those blocks started to be given in concessions to different uh, oil corporations. From the start, in 2007, there were only three uh, oil companies that, that, that had blocks. However, in about five years later, uh, the, the amount of the companies that were operating in Iraqi Kurdistan was about, to be, about 27. So in five years, more than 20 companies entered. And those, those, the Kurdistan government started giving very, very good uh, contracts to the companies to operate in Kurdistan. Those contracts were uh, profit-sharing co contracts. So it was not the government was not only paying money for extracting the oil, but also sharing the profits from the sale of oil. So uh, we showed that that map uh, of the dividing up of Iraqi Kurdistan and basically giving control to oil and gas producing companies. Could you talk a little bit about how that impacted uh, the air, um, the water, the, the, the land, the people? And uh, as you know, uh, the COP26 uh, UN climate conference is next week. And the situation in Iraqi Kurdistan is one of the worst in the world in terms of exploitation of indigenous people and, uh, and for their, their resources. And talk a little bit about the impact, please, on the, the environment and land. Uh, I can't talk about that. Actually, it impacted the, the environment a lot. Uh, people, the areas around the, the, the oil companies, the oil wheelers, actually, uh, the, 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 the agriculture is completely uh, destroyed. People cannot plant in, in, the, in, the, in these areas. And according to the, uh, the, to the health of people, the areas that they have uh, oil companies, actually uh, oil investment in these areas, actually the rate of the cancer is very, very high. And in terms of the living in the villages, it just, it just forces people to not farming anymore uh, because the companies, when they were coming, they were promising people uh, we are hiring you. You should work for us. You don't need any more. You don't need to work in the farm. You will earn a lot of money. They were promising people. So people started to work for this company. Some people, actually not a lot of people. Some people, they were starting to work in with them. And they didn't have any other chance to not work with them because they could not farm anymore. It impacted the tourism uh, a lot. It impacted tourism a lot. And come entirely in Iraqi Kurdistan, it changed our situation politically and economically. Now, after 20 years, we are finding that we were wrong to, to, to depend on the oil. We, we neglected Kurdistan, I mean, the government and Iraqi government, they neglected the, the, the agriculture sector. Now, after 20 years, they are saying we are wrong in that decision because agriculture is neglected, all the fruit is coming from Turkey, from Iran, and from the other countries, we are only in this investing in the, in the oil. So it politically and also economically, it impacted the, the, the country and the population, the, the people in uh, Iraqi Kurdistan a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and as you mentioned before, uh, you know, Iraq, and this is the Fertile Crescent, this is Mesopotamia, uh, the cradle of civilization, one of the, the richest 
uh, agricultural regions of the area of the world now now devastated by oil and gas exploitation. And uh, one of the most glaring examples of this and how war has been used uh, to exploit the people of Iraqi Kurdistan is is the fact that uh, the former Secretary of State uh, of the United States, uh, Rex Tillerson, uh, in the Trump administration, was the CEO of ExxonMobil. And so this is a very clear link between uh, multinational corporations exploiting indigenous people and also uh, governments and uh, so-called superpowers. I, this this global day of action that uh, I4 is is having um, also wants to encourage people to have hope and to take action and to act. And in this regard, um, the the people of Iraqi Kurdistan from the Shaura Valley had the most remarkable success story. Uh, could you share that, please? So we have we can. As you mentioned, ExxonMobil, now the biggest uh, oil corporation in the world, uh, when they entered Kurdistan in 2012, the, the Kurdistan government gave them six of those blocks that we've seen here earlier on the map. Uh, what we, we, can, we can share a little bit about what, what, we've, what we've seen happening, what, what this entry of this huge corporation to what it meant for local people, for farmers. Uh, in a, we, 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 in, in CPT in 2013, 14, and 15, accompanied uh, uh, several uh, organi grassroots organizations and, uh, and, and farming communities that were directly facing and, and, and resisting the uh, ExxonMobil. Uh, in, in, one of the, uh, in one of the areas that is called Haji Ahmed, uh, and maybe Susan could, could, could show a, a photo, is where, where ExxonMobil came. Uh, took huge amount of farmland that, 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 that sustained the life of three villages and started drilling for oil and actually reached the oil. So we see one of those oil wells that, uh, that, that, that destroyed big amount of land for, for, for which villages were never, never uh, compensated in any way, right? And then also the, because of the construction and the operation, uh, much of the land became waste because people could not even come and farm there. Uh, so even those that was not destroyed still later got destroyed because of that. Um, eventually, ExxonMobil uh, sealed off the, the well and left from there, right? So, 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 so everything that was left is just a big piece of concrete um, uh, and, and, and villagers who, who lost, uh, that, that man, many families who lost their livelihoods. Uh, in, in another, place uh, that is called Shaura Valley that Cameron comes from, uh, the villagers started to resist uh, and they started organizing themselves and eventually were, were able to kick out ExxonMobil from there. Uh, and Cameron uh, could share more about how the process of the, of the resistance of, of the farmers went. Yeah, uh, thanks Lucas. Actually in 2013 in May, Exxon Mobil, they came to explore that is if this area has uh, oil and gas and they explored and people didn't know why they are in that area. They were telling people that we are trying to establish a telecommunication uh, tower in that area, but they did some explosion and some other people told the people in Shaure Valley that it's very good for the people. <clears throat> they are they are establishing uh, a company here. Uh, they are establishing a, uh, like a big uh, oil well here and people can work here. A lot of people would be hired. They were telling people. But in the beginning of that, in, in, in July, uh, the civil activists and some lawyers in, in the area, they started to think about that. That's the oil company and it has a lot of uh, destruction on the area and it should not be like that because uh, it's very high mountains it is agricultural area and in the same time it's a tourist area people are planting for thousands of years it should not be destroyed because of the interest of some 
people like you, you did not destroying the, the the life of thousands and thousands of the people for the interest of one person or two person so people started to organize themselves and it was some workshops even about that and then in july in the end of the july we started to talk to the local uh, authorities we talked to the mayor of rania which is shaure is belongs to belonging to rania mayor we talked to them and we explained the situation for them actually they even they threatened the people from shaure they said uh, we will send asaish the security force for you if you will resist against that it's very good for you you are asking to not be jobless anymore to be hired it's very good for you so as the people from the area we were explaining for the government for the people we should resist against that and we had uh, two demonstrations then people started to think about to stay on on the on the main road and uh, stopping the vehicles of the company to not let them to enter the area and men women old people child everyone was joining that demonstration everyone realized that that it is it is the destruction happened in the area and eventually they could they could stop this company to to work in that area and they left it and one thing was very interested about that the company and the government they were trying to corrupt people they were telling people they were telling people we are hiring some people and it's good for you but people even though people didn't have uh, enough income to live they didn't have enough support from the government uh, they they really wanted to buy hire it, but not in that company so they they resist they said we prefer to be jobless rather than working in a company to destroy our land to destroy our uh, area so for, for for like the the first time in the area it was a resistance and after that that success we found uh, an organization uh, which was uh, for the environmental protecting and for the uh, civil rights. We found that uh, organization and we, we, we were more hopeful. After that, we were more optimistic. We said we had a success and that event, that resistance made us to be connected together more and organizing more demonstration in other areas and asking for the people's rights and not letting uh, other people and companies to in doing investment in the area and destroying the, the the land and the environment of the area you know the this success story uh, or, or the situation of the exploitation of the resources of the indigenous people of iraqi kurdistan this 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 is happening all over the world as you know in places like the amazon or or puerto rico or guam in the united states uh it, j just about everywhere africa I mean, the, the list is endless do you uh, have any uh, short list of suggestions for indigenous movements on, on how they can be successful i know uh, part of what happened was that there were international observers such as cpt um so what was the critical factor that uh enabled the uh the shower valley people to actually get rid of exxon mobil for 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 me what i what i, what I observed as, uh, as, as 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 a member of cpt was the was the power of the or, or organization from the complete grassroots organizations of farmers who are protecting their land where all all of them joined from as, as Cameron said from young people to older people to from men to women to children who all went together and said uh, we don't want ExxonMobil here and they were all supported by by organizations of civil rights activists from around from from lo from towns that are nearby who came and said we will be we'll stand with you then also uh, organizations like CPT joined to observe and to to provide this kind of accompaniment support, and also uh, Shaura Valley is, is 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 a place of of, of very strong history of resistance uh, against the against the government, and with, with 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 within that valley there were there were very strong voices talking about nonviolence and saying 
we should do everything non-violently this time. Uh, this is the only way how we can resist. Um, and so I that that maybe will be the, the, this cross organization and, and and Cameron maybe could share even more about it. Uh, what Cameron, what, what, what did you see as the, as, as the crucial, crucial factors in, in the resistance and, and the success? Uh, thanks, Lukas. Actually, one thing was very important for us in that time, having uh, organizations to support us. When we were seeing CPT in that time, we were seeing like a, like a protection. We were seeing CPT that some people, even they are not from the area, but in solidarity of us, they are coming uh, to, to support us. We were not feeling alone. We were feeling like we are a big group. We are advocating for our rights and some people here to support us. Another thing, actually, as Lukash said, Shaure area has a long history of the resistance. Uh, against the uh, like challenging the government resistance from the government and from the uh, many many wars that happened in 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 that land in that area in the in the Shaure Valley they they faced a big challenge a big obstacle so it was another thing about that and another thing is reorg like organizing the, the the civil activists and the people the farmers. Uh, they they didn't be you know corrupted uh, when they were asking them to work like to putting their interest behind uh, of themselves and just uh, fighting for the general rights for the public rights together. So it was the like it was the main point actually like everyone from many different political parties together. You know they didn't care that their political party is supporting that company or not. They were all together, they were giving hands to each other and they were resisting, they were challenging. So actually it is a big story of success. We are telling each other this story and uh, we have to learn more about that and other people around the world, probably they can learn about that, that uh, they can be, they can put behind all their own, like the individual interests and they fight for the public uh, interests and also uh, just avoiding all the political backgrounds, just seeking for the right thing and fighting for the right thing, which is environment. And it's very impor important. Yeah, I can say that so far. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as we've seen in recent years, um, the COVID pandemic and also the climate catastrophe, uh, that the world is enduring, uh, there cannot be uh, anything but one common uh, common saving of, of the planet and humanity and that we are all linked and we, we must uh, seek justice for, for, for everyone, including the planet. Um, thank you both so, so very much, uh, uh, Kamaran Asman and uh, Lucas Virla. And, and thank you also for sharing the story of the people of the Shower Valley and CPT's inspirational work. Um, before closing, and, and we're going to close with a, 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 a an eleven minute film that you've shared the the inspirational real life story of a village kicking out Exxon Mobil. Um, before we go to that. Um, do either of you or both of you have a message to the UN uh, COP26 climate conference? Uh, what, what, what would you like to share with those people meeting in Glasgow, Scotland next week? Please continue the, uh, please continue what, what's, what, what already is happening and please start new initiatives. We, we need solidarity around the world. For, for change. We all work from our places and and we, we, we need many, many of us and of, of you, of everyone to, to take part. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lucas. Kamaran, anything you'd like to add? I just echo what Lucas said. Uh, we are all together. We can protect this planet and we need each other. We can protect this planet together and please continue and we continue here as well. Thank you. Thank you both so much. 
and thank everyone uh, listening and for joining today for the International Fellowship of Reconciliation's Global Day of Action against uh, militarism and resource exploitation as drivers of the climate catastrophe. And uh, again, thank you so much, CPT. We leave uh, you now with the video, Voice of the People, Farmers' Resistance Against ExxonMobil. Tangi Haunish Timaniani Kurz, Wamil Milanian, Legiri der Henani note, Lesavia der in a canyon. Amfilma, Chiroki Halchi Gunishinakani, Kurdistani, Araha, Kalamil Milaneda, Nagal Hokmatakan, Companion, Chino to Latino da. بۆ پاراستنی زەوی و ماڵ و کۆمەڵگە و ژینگە سروشتیەکەیان و هەروەها شێوازی بوونی ژیانیان کورچەیە ئەو نەتەوەیەی کە زیاتر لە پەنجا ملیۆن کەسە بەڵام تاکو ئێستا دەوڵەتی نیە تاکو ئێستا خاکێکی ئازادی نیە ئەو نەتەوەیە بە درێژایی مێژووی چەو ساواتەوە خاکەکەی دابەشکراوە بەسەر وڵاتانی دراوسێدا ئەمە لە لایەن دەوڵاتانی دراوسێ و هەروەها وڵاتانی زلهێز ئێمە تەنها لە بەرەوەی داوامان کردووە دا... کە کوردین داوای مافێکی سەرەتایی خۆمان دەکەین کە کورد بوونە کە بە کوردی قسەکردنە دەکوژرێین زیندان دەکرێین چەکی کیمیاییمان لێ تاقی دەکرێتەوە لە سێدارە دەدرێین ئەمە لە پێناوچیدا لە مێژوو لە ڕابردوودا و لە ئێستاشدا بە هەزارەها شێوەی زۆر زۆر بە زۆر ئێمە دەچەوسێندرێینەوە تەنانەت خاکەکەش ما دەدزرێ ئەمڕۆ دەیەها کۆمپانیای دەرەکی کی بوونە بۆ مەسەلەی دەرهێنانی نەوت و ئەو زۆرەشتانە دێن وڵاتمان بە هەدەر دەبەن لێرەوە ڕوو دەکەمە کۆمەڵگەی نێودەوڵەتی ڕوو دەکەمە هەموو ئەوانەی کە ویجدانیان هەیە بەرامبەر بە مرۆڤ بوون داوا داوا دەکەم هاوکارمان بن لە پێشخستنی ئازادی و بەدەستهێنانی مافە سەرەتایەکانی خۆمانە و ئازادکردنی خاکەکەشمان گوندشینەکانی حاجی ئەحمەد و ساردکە زەویەکی زۆریان لە دەستدا کە لە لایەن حکومەت و یەکزۆن مۆبیلەوە داگیرکراون و تا ئێستا بە شێوەیەکی پێویست و دادوەرانە قەرەبوو نەکراونەتەوە ئێستاش لە ململانەی بەردەوامبوون و پاراستنی شێوازی ژیانیاندان ئەوە گوندەکە ئێمە ئێرانە ئەو شوێنەی ئێستا من لێوەستاوم ژمارەی گوندەکامان تەقریبا دوو سەد سەتا سێ سەد مار دەبی پێنجسەد عایلێ تێدەیە ئەو باغ و باغات و شتانەش هەموو ئێمەنە ئەو باغچانە و ئەو سنوری ئەمن لێوەستاوم ئەو مەنتیقەی کە لێدەڕۆین و لێدەوەستین هەموو ئێمەیە تا ئێستا باب و باپیرمان هەلەو دێیە ژیاوە ئەمە دە پشتە لەو دێی دانیشتینە و نستەژێ بووینە لەو مەنتیقەی لەو سنوورەی ئێرە کە دەستم بۆ ڕەوان کردووە کۆمپانیای کاتۆ بە ناوی ئۆکسۆمۆبیل چەند مرچێکی لێ داگیر کردینەوە و هیچ قەرەبێشیان نەکردینەوە تا ئێستا بەرەو شێنی سایی بینن ئەو شەریکەلی داوکتەوە هەم کوماری مێ هەم تا پۆی لە سەرە مێ سەتان سارا ئەمە خزمەتی ئەم ڕزی باخی مێ و میچنە حەفتا هەشتا دوور مە شەرکەی سمۆبیلی ناوی داوکتە ئێستا کە دێت قەرەب بووە کە بەسی قەرەب بوشمە نادەنێ هەم ڕزی باخ ڕزی باخ کەش کەش و پەلێ دەورە سەیەکانە بۆ گیرە دەگوم خابنە و ڕزی تێک درێ کو دەبیتەوە ئێش کە بخۆرە سەپۆکشم دادن حەتا ئێستا قەرەب بوشیان نەکەنە قەرەب یەکەش دەنێ ساری دوور بی سەد دۆلار سەد دۆلار چی قەرەب ناتە من دارشی بوو سەد دۆلار چی عەد لێرە باش دەفتەر بوو لێ دەفتەر لێ دوور بی لێ بە سەد دۆلار بی مەحلە چێوە و دەحوا دەکەن زەڕزیانەکەمان پێدەنەوە ڕەشەکەی ئۆکسمۆبیلا ئەوەی لە هانگۆ دەبینن ئەو ڕەز و باخە چار دۆرم هەر دی تاپۆیە سەعابەکەی مەوجوودە زۆر ماوەت لەگەدان گوتم لێ ئێمە کە بڕشکە هەر کشێ هەم حاڵی سەخەریەشە هەم مشکیلەشی نابێ هەم لەو گۆش قازاندا گارە گار و پارە و شتێوار تشنابێ بە جیهان نەکرێت ڕاستە ڕەز و باخەیان تێکدا و سەرناویان دافتێ عاریان لەنگۆ دیارە Oh, my. 
ما سن مانگی دوایی دا اکسون موبیل لگوندی گولان بدوای نو دا گراو چند تاقیق نوی جان کردوا گونشینانیش چندین جار کو بونه دا و پریاری اوان دا که بشه اوی که ناتون دو دیجانا جیانو زویکانیان بپاریزن لم هراشه پریارا ایرم مبلکتی ای خواب پیغم برانو ای مشا لیرا جینا لیرا قبل بوین لو مبلکتی لو منطقي يبقى دارو بارو بناره ويبقى سيوه ويبقى قرازه ويبقى مجتمع يبقى تيهو عواينه ويبقى خوره تبارا كيم بيمي خوشه بيم لاموجيان خوش تبو هرانيش اصراموه انقو حامجيه ابي ساش كاكا ناقم يبقى بخو بقى خيدان يا حواينه وانا خواب يغم بلان بزياد بيو لهمو كردانيش بزياد بيو اينا رازينينا كمبانيا کمپانیا بیت ایر او اومد او گشت و گذاری من لیت اگر دلمان دلمان به گشت و گذاری خوش او زی با و با پیران من انجمنی پارس نیجین گو مفک گشت کن انجمنی شی مدنی نه حکمی سر به خو خو بخش داری سر حوتی حوتی دو هزار روسیان ز راکین در اول لین چند کسی که تلاکانی مدنی و روشنام نشانو خون کارانی زن کو دام از را و کاری سرشیم انجمن بریتیل پارس نیجین گو خاکو خالش امن افتیل لوم ترسیانی که اگر هیل در انجام کاری کمپانی نفتی کن نبسن را داد بکیت او هم او کنز من ل رابط داره سرعت دام زرند من و آورت من دو دنگی نارضی خلق شناسه کوب خیلی نوزوترین زنیاری ل سر مترسیو کاری کمپانی کم بخاطر کب گینین چند سال چی کی کتر من انجام داد و ل اگر داشت نوی خلق کل مترسی کمپانی کانو کاری کمپانی کانو و ل نمونه خوبی شدند و گرد بنو من انجام داد و در کدی نبین ما کوک نوزیات ل از دارو پینزاد امضا لخالت شد نه از که دوباره که بگشتی بورا گرتی نیکاری کمپانی کنم برای گرب نیم متریسی کاری کمپانی. گندی گلایی که کل نه از کنی حرمی کردستان و هر وعده دی بابو با پیران منو و قبلم اگر به تو کمپانی کنی نود کار بکن بود در هنری نود او کارگری لسرجانی کاملا اتیم اند به تو نتار دبین که ام گند به زبیلینو و هر و هر بوی اما به همون شیوهک دیجی در هنری نودی نو یا خود کمپانی نود لیر کار بکه ان جمله که اما پشتیوانیه که جمهوری برفروانی هیا و برداوم لبرفروان بوده لگو پیوندی کنی لگو رخرو کنی نیو دولتی و لگو دیگه کنالی تر دا ورد ورد برفروان دب و بنیازین او پشتیوانی جمهوری به یاسایی بکن که مالتی یاسایی بور بگیرن و کارو تلا شکنی اما ناتون دو تجیب و و مدنیانه بو مدنیانه دب لده هاتو دا و سوری لسر پرستنی نوشته کمان ل کاری کمپانیا به ل ل کاری ل در انجام کاری خرابی کمپانیا کن. سپارت برای دانی بیرونو دل و داده ام و کدایش تو اینی ام و داده ایدانی ام ل دانی ام بیرونو تا دکه این لبر دو هکار هکار دو هکاری سرکی هکار یکم یان تکتونی لورگا عجل یکان کمچ کارگری تایه ل سر بجای جان خلق رو هکاری دوم یان لرون کش تو کالا و خلقی ام دیه تا بشه وی کی گشتی توشی قیرانه کی گشتی کاملاتی این کمچ زرده کی زور با خلقی ام نوشته گات وایل یکات که ل گند کارو کن ل شاره کن ام بشه وی کی گشتی دانی ام ل دانی ام بیرون هت آکی ما وکو دانشجویی ام دوباره با دست کم آیودن علینین 
اگر بیت و کمپانی نه و بیلم نه و سی نه و در بینه کاریگری دیده دستر یکم اشکبونی سطح آوکانی او دوام جهرای بونی آوکا با امداد جی ام کمپانی داده وسیم به هوی در هنری نه و تو و کاریگری دیده دستر جانی کمالات با شکل دوش مکانی ام بریتیلا او به نود نگاری نوا و هر و به هیچی یک سازد لسر سروش تو جنگی نو چکنه که این و گشتو گوزار نو تی سر زویه پیش در حکومت و خاطر نه این نو نو چا گشتوکال کانو نو چا گشتو گوزار کانو نو چا دیر نکان من لیش تیگ ندا اما جو کم نالان ما فی جنگی که پاک مانه زون موبیل و چند کمپانیایی که نوتی نو دولتی تریش و ارمتی حکومتی هرمی کردستان زور ملی لخالکی کندشی نکند کن بدرجای کردستان و برای یکی زور کسی نخوش اندادا بن. اما برای کی دچت؟ تو دتوانی چیپ کی که؟ بلاک نوی و تکانیه پیشاندانی ام فیلمه با شوهی که به فراوان با اوی زورترین خلق بیبینه دروس کرنی تور لگل رخناوکان و دزگاه پیواندی تارکان با گهنی دعوکاری گنشینان به نوینر یه حکومتی هریم و کمپانه اکسون موبیل لولا تکد ده سپاس و پیزانین من با هم و برزانی کلم فیلمه ده بشداریان کردوان موسیقی